We end tonight at the Vatican, where an American artist is leaving his handprints on the sands of time. Here's Seth Doan. It's hard for a modern sculpture to pull focus in St. Peter's Square, framed by John Lorenzo Bernini's magnificent colonnade. But now a lesser known artist has done just that. This massive nativity was unveiled earlier this month. American Rich Verano is head sculptor. The Vatican in Italy, surrounded by so much culture, so much history, so much art, uh, it all makes it very special. Uh, the emotion was quite intense for me. Verano's medium is not marble, but sand. In this case, 720 tons of it. To do a piece this big, it's almost 20 feet tall, 52 feet wide. It requires a bit of a ballet because in sand sculpture, unlike sculpting in marble or wood, you have to finish it at a certain level at the top and then proceed down. There's no going back to work on it again. This is not like building a sand castle at the beach. In fact, sculptors told us ocean erosion makes beach sand too soft, sort of like trying to stack marbles. Inland sand is better as the grains can lock together. It hardens as it dries, and the secret to making this is compaction. Verano had this special sand trucked in from near Venice. The 60-year-old sculptor, who's based in Florida, brought three of his favorite carvers to help from the Netherlands, Russia, and Czech Republic. They worked for about a month. He's done this many times in his 30 years of sculpting. To do it here at the Vatican, is the penultimate of my career. It's the absolute pinnacle, and I can't see ever topping it. Like all good Christmas decorations, this will come down too in January, fitting for the fleeting nature of this holiday season. Seth Doan, CBS News, Vatican City. Breathtaking work of art. That's the CBS Weekend News for this Sunday. Later on CBS 60 Minutes. For more news anytime, go to CBSN at cbsnews.com or download the CBS News app. I'm Elenki Hano in New York. Thank you for joining us and good night.